Hi there, Luke Griggs, Arnold Rendering Specialist at Autodesk. And just want to cover how to render some clouds using a combination of the volume shader and the Maya Cloud 3D node. There is this written tutorial here with the scene file if you want to follow along. I'll put a link in the description. So I'm going to start off by creating a sky dome light and I'm going to connect a physical sky to the color of the sky dome light. And then just increase the exposure a little bit. We need an object to assign the cloud the volume shader to. So I'll create a polygon sphere and just scale it up. Something like 10 and just scale it down in Y. Maybe one or two, just something for our cloud layer. And we need to assign a standard volume shader to it. Uh, select the sphere, assign the standard volume. So if we, if we surrender this as it is, you should notice that the cloud object is black. That's because we haven't told Arnold that we want to render it as a volume. So under the Arnold attributes, go down to volume attributes and just increase the step size. So I'm like 0.1, now it's starting to render as a volume. The main thing we need to do is click the Maya Cloud 3D to the transparent weight to the standard volume. Like so, so we're already instantly getting some clouds. Could tweak some of the standard volume shaders if we want it less dense or more dense. Change the scatter weight or even transparent depth. And go in and change some of the Maya cloud attributes. Maybe we want less, more contrast, more amplitude. The Maya Cloud also comes with a place 3D texture, so we could change the scaling of this quite quickly and easily. Notice we're getting a lot of noise in the volumes. We need to increase the Skydome volume samples. Something like 6. The default is 2. So you now you can see the noise is, is a lot cleaner now. So that's how to render some clouds in Arnold for Maya. Thanks for watching and bye for now.